What's up, guys? Welcome to Ollie Scoops Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Courtney Revolution. It's a Tuesday, and the tequila is hot. If you watch the morning tea, it's tequila Tuesday. Tea. Uh, we're talking the latest with Selena Gomez and Bella Hadid, Mama Chris's fear that Caitlyn Jenner is going to spill some family secrets, and Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson not being here for split rumors. Mm -hmm. But first, we have some fresh Ariana Grande tea, you guys. Uh, yesterday on the morning tea, we filled you in on how Ariana Grande canceled her Kentucky shows due to being very sick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, she wrote, or she was on her Instagram story saying that she woke up with a really bad headache. Okay. Uh, she couldn't swallow. Oh. All around, not feeling good. TMZ reported it was a really bad sinus infection, which mm -hmm. someone who's had allergies, severe allergies their entire life. That burning up there, girl, yeah, that's a, nothing to play with. A bad sinus infection can knock you on your tush real hard. Yeah. Um, and after sending love to her fans on Sunday and yesterday, Ariana, just a little bit ago, took to Twitter to reveal that she will be returning to the stage tonight. Good. That's good, but that's not a lot of the downtime to actually heal your body. You know what I'm thinking? For her, after the tour is over, I couldn't imagine working on a new project, but having to go back to those cities and play those shows. That's again, true. Right? That's true. So she's probably song. like, let's just get it done. Yeah, that's how let's I would power be. power through. Yeah. Get a B12 shot in the butt and just carry on. Yes, ma'am. Uh, she tweeted, y'all make me so happy, TF. Ooh. Love you, see you tonight. She is supposed to be in mm. Atlanta. She was seen walking her dog yesterday in New York City. Okay. Actually, the dog that she adopted after Mac Miller passed away. Mm. Um, she was bundled up, but everything seems to be fine. And I agree yeah. what you're saying. Like, I can see that she's just kind of like, let me just suck it up and get this done. Just get it done. Put your burgundy mm -hmm. on, sis. You sing us the hits. Get on your cloud and fly away. And she will obviously deliver for the fans. Oh, Ariana yeah. Grande, oh, yeah. even if she's sick, not feeling well, and she kind of has that I need to get this done mentality, you know it will be a top-notch performance and she will medicate herself with whatever is necessary yep. to get that done. And I feel like sometimes Ariana's worst is a lot better than a lot of girls' best. Very true. So Y'all are in good Very hands. Very true. <laughs> uh, let's move on and talk about Selena Gomez and Bella Hadid. Mm -hmm. So TMZ reported that after the whole Instagram mishap that we talked about yesterday, Bella reportedly reached out to Selena to clear up the situation. Woman. Yes, sources say that Bella told Selena she didn't delete the picture because of her comment. She deleted it because, quote, she just didn't like the picture. Well. Uh, Selena then commented on a fan post about her That Sucks reaction. Mm -hmm. um, it was an Elle magazine article and she kind of took it all back. She said, no, I shouldn't have spoken without knowing the truth. I'm sorry. Please don't be hurtful. She is a wonderful person and it was all a misunderstanding. Well, period. Selena easily could have just left it mm -hmm. up to us to interpret what happened. Right. Is Bella Bella's being rude? the one who reached Did out. Did they talk? Right. It truly would have been a speculation, but Selena is like, you know, it's good and mm -hmm. I enjoy the fact that she was very mature about it. Absolutely. Now the piece has been, uh, <laughs> I guess, accomplished. Uh, there was a little, little more information as to why Bella was holding a grudge. Uh, this is a report from In Touch Weekly. A source shared that prior to all of this, potentially Bella was still a little upset over the weekend. Okay. And there might have been a little overlap with hey. Bella's relationship with the weekend and Selena's relationship with the weekend. Yikes. Like one hookup. That's what the source is claiming, okay. alleging all of that stuff. Obviously, we know peace has been reached, okay? Good. We know Bella called Good. Selena, Selena posted that. But still, we need to fill you guys in on why Bella Hadid could have mm -hmm. still been harboring some hostility. Um, the source said that Bella is friendly with The weekend. Selena talks to him occasionally, so I feel like they're good. They've talked. Now, hopefully, we can proceed with peace. I feel like if y'all are both not mad at him, then mm -hmm. the both of y'all can get along. Because to me, it's not the other woman's fault. It is always the person in the relationship that chose to step outside of the boundaries of that relationship right. that's at fault. And now I'm hoping that the two can at least be cordial. Like, yeah. even if Bella doesn't want to be her friend, which is totally fine, and Selena has, you know, obviously extended that branch as well, I mm. feel like they can just be nice to one another. They don't have to be best friends and life will carry on. Yeah, something that my mom taught me was um, let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. Oh, so I Bella, like that. let it begin with you. Selena done extended the olive branch. Maybe mm -hmm. you didn't accept it on the first go around, but maybe on the second go around with some thought, maybe a couple uh, mentions from the village, you know, yes. saying maybe you should mm -hmm. just be nice. Maybe you can turn it around. I love that. Tis the season. Tis the okay, season. let's talk about Chris Jenner and Caitlyn Jenner. So Caitlyn, you guys, is fully into her new reality television appearance um, on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, UK. UK. UK, that's very UK, key. UK, daughter. Because Bruce Ooh. 
appeared on that show, the US version, mm. years, years, years ago. So okay. now Caitlyn is giving the show a go, down under. Knowing what she's getting herself into. Yes, time. it is a UK-based show, but they're filming in Australia. Mm. That, I know what down under is. I didn't want people to be like, nice and stupid. She's talking about she's UK. She's in the UK, she's down, down under. under. All right, All right, it's a UK show, Relax, they're filming bears. down under. All right, it's gonna be fine. Uh, but there's a new report from The Sun that Mama Chris is reportedly worried that Caitlyn is going to slip up and share some deep Ooh. family secrets. Not necessarily about their marriage, but about her daughters mm. and their off-screen private life. You know what I wonder about? How much is Chris hiding? Because I think back to Chloe and Lamar mm -hmm. showing up at uh, the Soul Cycle. Exactly. So mm -hmm. I mean, what are you hiding from the world? But also, what are you hiding from the family? Exactly. Maybe that's what she's worried about. Exactly. And on the show, it's kind of like a Survivor-esque competition show. Mm. Not as not as much Survivor. It's kind of, the clips I've seen. It's like Survivor X or yeah X Factor, right? No, no, no. Are they X Factor. It? Uh, oh my God, what was the one that Ludacris did? Big Brother. Did? No, no, um, no. Fear Factor. Fear Factor, not yes. X Factor. Fear Factor. Fear Factor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are literally seeing my brain work in real time. But it Me. looks like something like that. Like there's bugs. Okay, there's a little wilderness. So I know there's eliminations, and I think she's worried that Caitlyn could like share something in well, secret. Well, Caitlyn needs to make it to the top three. Right, and then someone could use it against her. But mm. apparently, Chris wished Caitlyn luck, and everything okay. hopefully will be okay. But she did say, I'll be watching to mm. make sure she doesn't share anything. And the rest of the Car Jenners, a source told Hollywood Life that they are interested to see how Caitlyn does. I'm very curious, and maybe I need to go back and read even more articles. I'm very curious to see. Chris's thoughts on Caitlyn's transformation again. I want to mm -hmm. reread those notes one more time, Madison. There was a lot of drama around that time. You got a whole family, nice. and Caitlyn said, "Well, a lot." I need time. to go be me. Uh, there was a lot of drama around yeah, that time. Yeah, very interesting story. Yes, let's move on and talk about Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson. This is hilarious to me. Mm. Uh, a source told Radar Online that the two were on a break. Bye. That way Miley could focus on herself, which honestly I was like, good. She should be focusing on herself. They shouldn't have even gotten together. Exactly, homegirl hasn't been single since she filed for divorce. <laughs> Her and Liam She's actually broke What's up the first about? time. Exactly. Remember, we went from Liam to Caitlyn to Cody. Mm. No downtime in between. That codependency. Right. And before mm. you guys, that split report could even gain a little steam, which honestly could only help a sham relationship. I think so, especially when you ain't singing. Exactly. But no, they made sure it died right away. Um, a source spoke to E! News from Miley and Cody's camps. Clearly made sure we knew. Oh. No, no, no. They are fine. They're dating. They had been spending some time apart because of their schedules. Okay. Miley's still healing from that vocal cord <sighs> surgery. We know she has to be silent, which mm. again, why you said something with the album feels fishy. A lot of fishy. Man. A lot of fishy. Because originally, you guys, it was rumored to come out on November 23rd, mm. around there. But now with this surgery. When is it coming, Miley? Exactly. And then we have all this relationship info. Hmm. It's interesting. Apparently, her and Cody have been friends for a long time, and he knows that she likes to have freedom in a relationship, and he's okay with that. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm like, so she up doing her thing, and then when you guys are together, it's fun. Whatever. Hmm. Asura said since their schedules often keep them apart, when they do see each other, it's clear they're crazy for one another. That is so beautiful Madison mm -hmm. Hill. Um, bringing it back to the music, I yes. think Miley is gonna sing about Liam. I think that we've got Selena that said we're not singing about In Justin. addition to Slide Away? Okay. I think so. That's I true. think that Miley is gonna give us a Liam heavy album mm -hmm. and I'm thinking that perhaps if she if she is in the bed mm -hmm. with throat uh, cords healing and all of that, <laughs> hopefully she's in the bed with her Harriet the Spy uh, journal and she's writing mm -hmm. some songs. I would hope. Well, and I mean she could take a note from Selena in that sense of like, okay, she had the emotional, which mm -hmm. was Slide Away, the emotional ballad. Now, here I am, I'm single, mm -hmm. I'm experiencing dating for the first time. Time, that kind of take on her next song. Okay. I mean, we know when the track list was leaked, we had a potential collab with Shawn Mendes mm -hmm. and a potential thing with Cardi B. That one was heavily debated of whether Absolutely. or not that was Photoshop, real, whatever. Mm -hmm. Personally, I could really see that because I feel like the image that Miley is putting back out there, I feel uh -huh. like that goes very well with Cardi B. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what to really expect. I think it's going to be bangers-esque, but I do think there's going to be a lot of references to Liam mm -hmm. because that will help sell. Of course, if there's things about Cody, that will help sell. Absolutely. And if there's one about Caitlyn, cherry on top. You know who I want on this album? Miley, while you got time to get your vocal cords together real mm -hmm. quick, we need Chance the Rapper, we need Lizzo, and 
any female rapper that's not Cardi or Megan. Okay, there well, you go. I would really be pro a Lizzo situation. Yeah, I agree with that. That would be good for her. I agree. All right, you guys, it's time to let us know what you're thinking. What was your reaction to Ariana Grande getting back on the stage after being very ill? Also, thoughts on everything that went down with Selena and Bella. What do you think about Mama Chris being concerned that Caitlyn is going to spill the date? Mm -hmm. Do you think she will keep the family secrets sacred? <laughs> what was your reaction <laughs> to the latest with Miley Cyrus and Cody Simpson? You guys, let it out down below. Don't forget to tune into the morning tea tomorrow, 8.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. In the meantime, shop the Hollywood Scoop store, subscribe, and click the notification bell. We'll see you next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.